Welcome back. So now that we have a print line method, why, why not also get a method that can actually read a line? So what we're going to do is we're going to convert the input line here. Now we have the output line as a method. We're going to make the same for an input. But it's going to be a bit different because here we're going to need to actually return something. So I promise to come back to, like in, for instance, void. Void means I'm not going to return anything to you. I'm just going to execute something for you and nothing else will happen. What we want to do now is we're going to make a new method down here. Let's just make it static and now it's going to actually return a string. So now notice it doesn't say void anymore. It actually says the return type. What I'm going to return to whoever uses my read line function right here. And I don't have to pass anything in. Again, notice the difference here where here I pass something in as a parameter. Down here I don't pass anything in. What I'm going to do instead, I'm going to return something because I want to return. If I don't put this in here, notice it'll actually complain. If I just end like this, the code will actually complain and say, well, that's not good. You have to return something if you don't put in void here. So right now you're telling me you're going to return a string. If you tell me that, you have to return a string. So notice you get a red squiggly line and that actually means there's an error in your code. Uh, let's just try and press it and press the small question mark here and you'll actually get here a bit of information. Uh, I'm not really sure what it's going to give me. Let's try and press the lamp. It says, uh, if you want to do this, either make it into uh, property, which we'll get back to later, or actually make sure that it returns something. And let's just return something because that's what I want to do. You do that by writing return, just like in Java. And then I can say, I want to return console read line. So that's what I'm going to return here inside my program. There we go. Now you've actually made two different methods. One method actually is a void, which means I'm not going to return anything. And the other method right now returns a string. So that's where the void keyword comes into play compared to an actual, uh, in a method compared to an actual uh, returning of something. And right now it's a string, it could also be an int, an object, whatever you wanted to return. Let's try and just use this the few places where we have the read line and see that everything is still running. So I'm going to scroll up in my program here. Every place where I have this, I'm just going to replace it with my new read line method. And up here. Now right now, we're not gaining a lot by doing this. Notice that it's only a, a single console that leaves right now. But as we start moving forward and making bigger and better methods, this will make sense to you. Let's try and run the program as the final thing. And now you've also made um, actually a program, uh, sorry, a method that can actually return a value. Let's remove our breakpoints here, just because now I actually don't want to see that. Let's say continue. Now it's going to ask me to put in some kind of name. Let's put in last and there we go. It's done.